Hey guys, the intro boy here and today we're gonna play some Summoner Swore. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I utilize a 12-hour experience booster. So first, let's talk about where you can get them. So of course, it is given for free when you log in daily and you get a 12-hour experience booster on day 21 of the month. Alright, so second one is when you um, 6-star a monster. I mean, given that that is your second six star of that of that same element. So, for example, um, you only have four six stars. Um, let's say, um, the, all this way you have the fire, you have the wind, you have the water, and you have a let's say vermo. So, let's say dark. So, when you um six star a, for example. An Akamomir, then you will get a experience booster in the first day. I, I can't really remember the rewards if when you first six star the monster, but you know that's that's where you get it. Alright, so let's talk about um the scenarios. Of course, when you pop a 12 hour experience booster, you want a father farmer who's you know fast in clearing um clearing the the waves um uh, basically the scenario the scenario stage so back like um when i was starting i have i farm here hydini ruins 5 damnation so because i when i was starting i really I'm really blessed with a lot of wind monsters, so this is like my sanctuary. Alright, okay, I want these guys here. So, let's pick some others here. You can level up. Take note, guys, I right now I don't have an experience booster, so the experience is cut in half. And when I was starting, where is that? here this is the cases she is my first six star and she is my first father farm she's not the best and she's not the fastest but she worked for me for a long time because like she was I think my second nat four and and back then she was you know she has a really good use for me on this on the stage of my game I was just starting when I got her and I think I ruined her like pretty much similar to this one um the spare focus speed HP HP the only difference is back then she has a slot 6 attack so that's a little faster for further farming but right now this is your these are just um the, all the spare runes that I don't really use this so that's her stats Big look at it and let's see how fast she can clear this scenario stage I think it's about a minute and 30 seconds and when you run her when I ran her in the past she's you know really safe uh, she can really solo the scenario this this scenario and this gives I think three three point eight K experience when you have when you when an experience booster is active. So that's one point six K in this run, basically. So you see it's quite slow but when you're just starting and you fortunately you have a cases or you know um, the monsters that you use at the start of the game is really RNG based because we have different monsters in our boxes like even if you're in the mid game you're even if you're in the late game we all have different monsters so I'm just showing you this because she um, she was pivotal with my um, early games early days in summoners war so we're almost done <laughs> she doesn't have 
she doesn't have she doesn't deal good damage but it works it and it's pretty safe so that's pretty acceptable one minute 27 seconds and yeah and when I joined the guild this was a guild like you know uh, with my friends in in college I got oh wait not yet I got I got Tiana and I got Ethna so when I got Ethna I, I was just blown away because oh an attacker a natural five-star attacker and I was like oh I'm gonna use her everywhere so I ruined her like this I mean now she's on despair focus but back then she was on fatal blade attack with damage attack but right now she's on speed with damage attack and she can clear this wave wave pretty fast I think about 30 seconds 45 tops I think when she derps oh I mean of course she's always gonna use capture third skill but and oh like this she should have used the second skill so that you know the the wave would be cleared faster and more efficient so when I got her really boosted like the number of monsters that I maxed out within the 12 hour period all right 32 seconds so that is a almost a minute boost it's a minute faster than my a cases so um when I got Etha it really helped um, my progress in leveling leveling my monsters like my useful monsters and my fathers and then later on that's what I was talking about earlier I joined the guild and I got a Kamamir. she was I mean he was my second Ifrit summon so I think mm, uh, I just upgraded his runes so his was on fatal blade attack with damage attack back then back then he has really shitty runes but right now this is quite I'm um, good uh, the only thing that bothers me is the speed because of course in in PvP you always get cut by the enemy but here in the scenario he is a beast you can clear this like 20 seconds 15 to 20 seconds he just needs to you know crit and everything will be <sighs> come on <laughs> And in the second wave, he derps. <laughs> you smack rush. Come on, yeah. Good. It's cool than the last wave. Aw, oh, man. But, you know, this happens. It's really random. Alright. I think this is a 20 second run. 20 plus. Oh, 35. What the hell? You know what? Let's do it again. When when he uses the right skills, you know, this would be much much fast faster. Come on, let's click. Messed up. So it's really strong here. But the earlier run he derp like <laughs> like crazy in the second. So we see 23 seconds. So that is really fast. So that's what I do when I pop a 12 hour experience booster using my own monsters, leveling up fathers. And the second thing that I want to cover in this video is when you 6 star a monster and you want that monster to be maxed out level 40 as, as fast as possible. Um, This is my way of doing it. I know other people have their ways but you know this is like the most effective and efficient way for me. 
I use the monsters of my friends here in Feymon and of course the like the fire and the water monsters I use them here and the wind guys I use them here you can also use if they're you know strong lotions you can use them here in Aiden but I don't really prefer this you know scenario it's slower and like the experience difference is not really that big so I really like going here in high deep so basically what you're gonna do make sure that you're in hell of course and then solo level your monster your newly six star monster oh wait that is wrong so you can look for you know the strong ones the strong water monsters which have AOE damage dealing skills. So here we have Teor and he can clear this this scenario stage like for 30 seconds 20. This is really effective in leveling up your 6 star monster. And if you you know if 12 hours is really dragging for you um you can pop the xp booster before it before the friend um before your friend's monsters resets so that's at 12 a.m i do that when i'm lazy um i pop the experience booster at around 11 p.m and then for an hour i'm gonna use you know i'm gonna clear i'm gonna use all of my friends um, monsters to level up my six star monster and then when at 12 a.m. when it resets I'm gonna use them all again and then like in less than two hours your six star monster is maxed at 40 okay so oh didn't want to do that so here I'm gonna show you Lucian of course which is very common as a friend rep so that's how I do it next thing I want to cover is um, like the, the monsters that I level I maxed out all the monsters like whether it's a one star two stars three stars four stars I max them all out uh, I think that is effective uh, I'm not sure if it's efficient but you know it works for me like for example I'm I'm farming like giants raid and like the dungeons in general and raids and of course they always give these rainbow ones and you always get these four star rainbow ones every week in the guild shop so what are you gonna feed these rainbow rainbow ones so we don't want cannibalism we don't want using this these max uh, rainbow ones to feed other rain max rainbow ones I never do that um, this is you know very useful for a free to play player like me and I think all of you guys out there who, who are also free to play you, you also don't do that I mean that is not very logical for you to do but of course if you are you know if you're um, spending money on the game that's that's nothing you know that's, that's nothing for you but for us free to play players they have they are valuable so what I do so see the these these um natural two stars small two star monsters I level I level them up to max and then I level up let's see let let me summon some one star monsters here
So I also level up the one star monsters. So when you level up one star monsters, it takes you about five runs here in this scenario stage. It takes me about five runs to max them out when I have a an experience booster um, active. And that's of course 25 energy. And then when I max him out, of course I feed other, you know, one star monsters to them. And then the cycle goes on. The one star monster that you max becomes a two star. And those, one, those two star monsters that you evolved will be fed to the natural two stars that you've maxed. And then those will be three stars. And that is the time when you feed those three stars to the rainbow monster. You've got grinding. And then you ran out of rainbow mons to feed into those, you know, those um, three stars that you evolved. You can also um, max out um, with all these natural three stars, three star monsters. And you know, the cycle just goes on. Two star, three star, feed the. Two star monsters to the three stars, feed the three star monsters to the four stars, to the maxed um, four star monsters that you have. I mean, that's how I do things. So, you, as you can see here, I always have um, a lot of um, five star fathers so that, you know, when I get something, I can max them out as, as soon as possible, as fast as possible. Because you never know when you get good monsters. Um, game-changing monsters so you always want to max them out and six them six star them as as soon as possible so here as you can see i have a lot of fathers here five star fathers there of course some 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 of these monsters are locked so i'm, I'm gonna use them in the future and then here i have the Four star Nat Force, the Nat Force maps out, and here I have a lot of fathers, three star natural three star monsters that are also maxed out. So there, that's a lot. So um, that's how I utilize a 12 hour experience booster. Um, um, let me know how you do, you know, how the how you level up your monsters, uh, how you level up your fathers in the comment section down below. So, I think we're gonna end the video here. I think I covered everything that I wanted to. Um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.